Church. Uh, my name is Andy. I'm part of the team in Manchester. And today's devotion is taken from Proverbs 30 verses 5 to 6 in the NIV. It says, every word of God is flawless. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Do not add to his words or he will rebuke you and prove you a liar. Proverbs 30 is written by Agur. Uh, and he offers profound wisdom about God's word, his faithfulness and our need for humility before him. Verses five and six remind us that every word of God is flawless, perfect and trustworthy. Unlike human words, which can be flawed, biased or deceptive, God's word stands the test of time and truth. It is a reliable guide, a source of strength and a foundation for our, few, for our faith. Agur goes further to say that God is a shield to those who take refuge in him. When we trust in God's word and rely on his promises, we find protection and safety in a world filled with uncertainty and confusion. God offers us a refuge, a place where we can find peace in the midst of life's storms. His word shields us from lies and deception of the world, giving us wisdom to navigate life's challenges. The warning in verse six, however, is clear. Do not add to his words. It reminds us to approach God's word with reverence and humility. Sometimes we're tempted to twist scripture to fit our own desires or opinions or even add and change certain words. However, doing so distances us from the truth and leads us to confusion. God's word is complete and doesn't need our alteration, even in the slightest form. We're called to accept it as it is, allowing it to take sh allowing it to shape our lives and not the other way around. The enemy loves to deceive us into thinking that modifications are acceptable. So today, take refuge in the flawless word of God. Trust his promises and find comfort in his unchanging truth. In times of uncertainty, let his word be your guide and shield. Seek wisdom, seek his wisdom, seek wisdom, but his wisdom, and he will be faithful and lead you on the right path. Church, have a great rest of your day and we'll see you tomorrow.